hello, hello to everybody out there in internet land. What's up? How you doing? My name is Jared and I'm here with Heat Press Nation for our weekly Heat Press Nation live broadcast. Those of you guys who have been following us for a while, welcome back. And if it's your first time joining us for an episode of Heat Press Nation live, well, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm not here solo, by the way. I do got my good buddy, Christopher. Chris, how you doing, man? I'm doing well. How are you doing today, Jared? I'm doing pretty good. You ready to you ready to press some stuff? Oh, I'm so ready. You got a bunch of new demos to do today. We yeah. have a different niche that we're tapping into. So I'm excited. Yeah, it's really exciting. So today we're gonna be talking about dominating the fitness industry. Now, really quick, before I get into that, I do wanna pause and let you know that right now we are running a flash discount. So right here, right above my shoulder, you see that flash discount. The code is pressure, uh, pressure. So if you use the code pressure right now, uh, you're gonna get 10% off of all sublimation blanks and supplies. That's pretty great. So if you've been wanting to stock up on sublimation blanks and supplies, you could use the code pressure. Now we call this a flash code because it's over in a flash. And what we mean by that is this code right here is only valid while we're live. So as soon as this episode is over, the code goes adios, it goes bye-bye, and it's no longer valid. So if you want to stock up and get a discount, again, 10% off of your sublimation blanks and supplies, make sure you head on over to heatpressnation.com right now, get your order in, and then don't worry, you'll make it back into the live. We're going to be on for a little bit today. Uh, and oh, I do want to say at the end of the broadcast, we have a giveaway, which Chris is going to tell you about in a minute. And then we're actually running another giveaway, which, you know what, what the heck, Chris, why don't you tell the people what they can win and how they can win it? Of course, of course. So we could have a bunch of winners. We, today, during our live, we are giving away a $50 HPN gift card. Yes, heck yeah. Of course, you gotta stay tuned until the end and we'll give you the code and then you can be answered to win by the end of the live. Very cool, very cool. Over on our socials, on our Instagram, we have a giveaway for this signature series mug and tumbler what? press. Legit. Great value, great value. And all you have to do to enter is follow us on our social media platforms and like and subscribe as well. Legit. Dude, the HPN Signature Series Mug and Tumble Press, that's the press that I have. And uh, I love it. Or I should say, have, I had, I'm temporarily displaced by my son's crib. Um, but don't worry, this year, and really exciting this year, I'm going to be back and better than ever. And I can't wait to share how that develops, but that's gonna be later. Uh, by the way, make sure you're tuned into our podcast. We do have the brand new HPN podcast. It's called Customizing Culture. You can check it out uh, here on YouTube. You can, it's here on our YouTube channel. You can also find it on Apple, on Apple Music, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you get your podcasts. You wanna check that out. We've had some really, really cool conversations with some heavy hitters in our industry. Um, our most recent episode, I was with a really, really cool creator uh, named Izzy from the Funnel Cake Tree, so that was cool. And then we have lots of other episodes that you can catch up on. So yeah, and if you didn't know, now you know. Check out the Customizing Culture podcast, again, here on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. All right, so today we're gonna be talking about the fitness industry. Now, there's a lot of different products that you probably could make right now, you just don't know about them yet. Um, so if you've been looking for kind of a new niche to get into with your sublimation business or even your regular heat transfer business, uh, the fitness industry is something you might want to check out. Um, so today we're going to show you how to heat press a few really unique uh, kind of niche items uh, for, again, we're talking the fitness industry today. Hopefully, though, this kind of unlocks something in your head and, and you can kind of see this, see what we're doing today and then apply it to your business. Hopefully it inspires you to take on some more business, uh, target new customers, and I'm gonna be real, make some more money. Um, but before we do that, Chris, we got any shout outs? You wanna say hi to anybody yeah, today? Yeah, of course, of course. I love saying hello to everybody. Hello to Anna, hello to Letitia. What's up, Anna, Letitia? Hello to Alice, hello to Cindy, hello to Judith. What's up, guys, everybody? Hello to Gretchen, hello to Danielle. Hello to Catherine, Rita, Tisha, Shauna, Alana. Hey, everybody showing up today. What's Heidi, up, guys? Heidi, Angela, Eleanor. Hello to Tina, 
We got anybody coming in international today? I'm just curious. Internationally, I'm looking. You guys could let us know where you're tuning in from if you we want got to. got Nashville, <laughs> Georgia, Massachusetts, oh, Nashville. Alabama, Tennessee, Texas, Virginia. Anyone from Texas, go have some barbecue for me today. I've been craving some real Texas barbecue. So if you guys are out there, um, have some and just think of me when you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> cool, cool. All righty. So Chris, I mean, why, are you there? why don't you talk to us a little bit about what we're going to be creating today? Yeah, okay. So today we have all of our gym kind of essentials, necessities. Nice. You know, every time I go to the gym after work, oh, I always need a towel. I'm always so sweaty, you know. Yes, sir. I got some tank tops, got some... <laughs> What, is, what type of material would you say? So that's like the, it's kind of like the dry fit moisture wicking. Okay. So kind of like a dry fit tank top and then it also comes with a t-shirt as well. That one's blank, but this one we tested. This one we actually sublimated onto. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Super nice. So when you're going to the gym, you don't really want like your clothes to have any like texture on it. So this is perfect because it's ingrained in Yeah, the there's like, there's zero it. weight to it. Yeah, right? exactly. Zero weight. You don't want anything to hold you down. Yeah. Super fire, super I'm, fire. I'm not a gym enthusiast like you, mm -hmm. but in the occasions when I have gone, I have made the mistake of wearing a shirt where I had a huge like print on the chest, which okay. if I'm just chilling, like it's no big deal. Yeah. But once you get to sweating uh -huh. and once you get to like moving and stuff and you have that weight on there, it's yeah. like it feels soggy, it gets all gross, yeah, it sticks to your it feels chest, <laughs> you know, so. Yeah, so that's super cool. Mm -hmm. This is definitely perfect. And then we also have these Coke-shaped those are tumblers cool. as well. I like those a lot. Mm -hmm. I like those because, you know, you guys have seen the skinny tumblers. You've seen a lot of the different ones that we have. These are cool. They're cool because they're a different shape and you could seal the top. Now, I know with a lot of the skinny tumblers, those are not meant for like throwing in a bag. You, you want to keep, you know, they're, they're not spill-proof. But having something like this, these are spill proof, and so that's really cool. So, uh, all right, what are we getting started with? What do you want to start with today? I want to start out with the towel today, because I've never actually done one of these, and I've never oh, seen nice. it done before. So, show me the ways. So. Let's do it. Can, uh, why don't you cut me a transfer, actually? Oh, already done. <laughs> Look at this guy. All right, well, let's head on over Stay to the heat press. Today. Now, what's cool about these towels is you can actually press either side of where I'm at. You can actually press either side. So these towels, there's kind of a more, like, I don't want to say rough, but really it's kind of a, like a, the, the more towel-y side. And then on this other side is a, kind of a more smooth side. So what's cool about these towels is this, this side is probably going to be used more for like just drying off. Now this one is really cool because this towel, if you want to target like the automotive, uh, your automotive towels, this side is going to be great um, as kind of like just like buffing drying and things for things like cars or other things. So I would say, and this is just me, if the if you want it to be used for drying, like in the gym, you're going to sublimate onto the soft side. So people will see the logo on the soft side and they can just dry themselves with the blank side. You can, if you're doing it, like you're going to be sending this to like an auto detailer so you can have custom auto detailing cloths, then I would imprint the kind of dry, rougher side and the softer, smooth, polished side. Leave that blank. Or... To be completely honest, because it's sublimation and it's going to be super soft, you could imprint both sides, whatever you want. Anyways, let's take a look at the heat press here. So because we're going to the gym, I'm going to imprint the soft side of this towel. Now, you'll notice something here. I removed the silicone pad on my heat press. Now, you know what's really funny is sometimes we get complaints. People are like, I took off the silicone pad and the bottom was all rough. Yeah, it's supposed to be rough. So the pad doesn't slip. It's supposed to be rough and unfinished. That is by design. <laughs> Some people get upset that this isn't perfectly smooth polish. No, it's not supposed to be. Anyways, I took it off because today I wanted to use a pressing pillow for several of our applications. And uh, for some heat presses where the press uh, is not designed for super thick things, if you want to accommodate a pressing pillow, you may have to remove the silicone pad and that's perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt the shirt. Um, this, like I said, this is a little rough. If you ever feel the need to, you can just cover it with a with like a t-shirt or a towel or something like that. Not going to hurt it at all. But anyways, I did remove silicone pad and I put down my pressing pillow and now I have my logo. So now where's the top side? There we go. So now with a pressing pad, with a pressing pad, with a, a rag like this, you could kind of put your logo in the bottom, like kind of like a diagonal corner. You could center it, the opportunities, or I should say the options are um, not endless, but you know, you have a lot of options. 
Now, what I do love about these is they're super easy to, to uh, sublimate. So I'm just gonna cover this with a piece of parchment paper. Um, I'm gonna slide this in, and I'm gonna really quick just increase my pressure slightly. Now, when you're using the pressing pillow, quick tip, you don't wanna overpress your pillows. You, the pillow itself should compress to about 60% of its regular thickness. That's how you know you're using the right pressure. Um, so yeah, so I have my pressure adjusted, so I'm not gonna smash the heck out of my pillow. I'm gonna apply just enough pressure um, to imprint on the towel. So there we go. Not a lot of pressure at all. I got 60 seconds on the clock. I'm at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. And yeah, now's a good time for any questions. If you have any questions about the process, the products, go ahead and drop them in there. We got Ronnie in the chat online. And then of course, my buddy Christopher's here. He's gonna answer our questions live. Yeah, of course. So I actually got, I saw this question earlier. I can't seem to find it now, but they were wondering where they can get these designs. Oh, that's a great question. I'm not sure about this one specifically, but like all of our designs that we used for sublimation. Awesome, yeah. So we actually just launched the Heat Press Nation design store. So right now we are currently transitioning into that. And so moving forward, a lot more of the designs you see live are actually gonna be from the Heat Press Nation design store. To access that, you're gonna go to heat.press slash design. And there we have lots of great artwork that you can download. These graphics here, I'm not 100% sure where they were sourced from. There we go. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure where we got these ones today, but as we go forward with Heat Press Nation Live, you're gonna see a lot more items and designs from the HPN Design Store. All right, let's take a look at this here. Yeah. Now, usually what I'll do is write, I won't wait too long before peeling, and when you do peel, just go up and away. Nice. Dude, that looks. Hey Jared, really, I hate really to cut cool. you off, but go. I got a go question from the chat. Shawnee was asking what temperature it's at and what pressure the sure pressure was at for that. Keep okay. in mind there is a pressing pillow. Yes, so I don't think the sure pressure number is gonna help much for two reasons. One, we pulled off our pad, we put on a pressing pillow. And two, the sure pressure itself is not gonna be the same for everybody. They're not calibrated to be the same because sure pressure is more like a bookmark system. Uh, it's not like a set. It doesn't, it doesn't equal your PSI is I guess what I'm trying to say. Um, but our time and temperature, we have our temperature at 385 degrees Fahrenheit. Our time is 60 seconds. And for reference, our sure pressure number is about eight and a half. Your sure pressure number might vary depending on what heat press you're using. Um, if you're using pillow or not, you know, it, it could vary. But just for, for the sake of mentioning it, we're at about eight and a half. Uh, let's go back to this towel. Actually, Chris, you want to show this off? Yeah, of course. I absolutely Whoa. love that, dude. I like that too. And I love how soft it is. Mm -hmm. It's just in there, full color, beautiful. Now, if you did have a big enough printer, um, which I guess we could do maybe later, um, you could imprint the whole thing. The whole surface is able to be sublimated. Looks really good. How's it feel? It feels. It's warm. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Take a nap with that later. But yeah, you don't really feel it on, on the towel itself. So I love that. Beautiful. The beauty there we go. Yeah. And one thing I do want to say about the towels is after you wash them, they're, gonna, they're just going to feel a little bit nicer. So at first, it presents beautifully. And then as they get washed and, and used a little bit, they just get a little bit nicer. I, I love the towels, so they're really cool. All right, do we have any questions about pressing the towels in there? Everybody's just kind of see. having a good time. So this question is kind of generally for sublimation, mm -hmm. but Monica says, I am new to this and find that I don't like to sublimate on fabrics because they always leave hard lines. Oh, that is a good point. So that's actually why we have the pressing pillow. Now, you know what, now's a good time so hold that thought. Uh, now's a good time to go to our tank top because as I press the tank top, I'm gonna address a lot of those concerns about the squares. So, All right. Chris, why don't you tank me up, buddy? There you go. There we go, nice, nice. And then let me grab you a... So here we have oil. our moisture wicking uh, tank. I guess, it's. would you consider this a tank or a sleeveless? I'll consider that a sleeveless. It's a sleeveless, huh? Yeah. This is from Badger Sports, okay. So the first thing that I do want to address about pressing uh, active wear, like moisture wicking garments like this one, is they're not all gonna be designed 
for the process. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. um, so because this is not designed for the process, the material, the polyester in this garment, uh, probably wasn't designed to be heat pressed. Something like this, now I'm sure you could screen print it uh, and do other sort of applications to it. You could probably embroider it with ease, um, but it may not be uh, made or designed for heat pressing because that the material might be a little bit more prone to scorching. So let's go over to here to the heat press. I'm gonna show you how we can kind of mitigate that with the squares. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and load this up right here on the pressing pillow. Now my pressing pillow, or I should say any pressing pillow really, here's a few things. The reason why we use a pressing pillow is because a pressing pillow has a soft kind of rounded off edge. It's not a hard edge like with, you know, I'm gonna grab it really quick just to show you exactly what I mean. So this is the silicone pad that of course comes with all the heat presses and it's not super hard, but you know, it is a little bit firm. And you see here how it has the, it's just a, it's just a corner, right? That is a little squishy, but it's, you know, it's a very defined edge on the silicone pad. There's that, right? Now, if we look back at the, uh, at the uh, pressing pillow, the pillow, because it's a piece of heat resistant foam and it's sewn into this nice non-stick uh, material, it's gonna have a softer edge, right? Now that's actually gonna be a big deal because when we're pressing our, our, especially our polyester or our heat sensitive materials, when the heat press comes down on it, it's not gonna imprint onto a hard edge, it's gonna imprint off onto the soft edge and it's kind of, this edge is gonna kind of roll off. So it's really gonna go a long way in helping to reduce press marks. It's not gonna, what it's not gonna do, it's not gonna stop it from scorching. Uh, it's not gonna stop it from scorching um, and it's not gonna completely eliminate the press marks. What it's gonna do is drastically reduce the appearance of press marks. So now you might find yourself using some materials that no matter what you do, they're gonna scorch. If that's the case, even using a pressing pillow, you know, you're probably gonna have to find a garment that's made of a little bit stronger material or material that's designed uh, to withstand the heat or able to withstand the heat. So not all of your moisture wicking activewear is gonna be compatible with your heat press. That's why it's very important to test different garments uh, and see what works with your setup. But in this case, we have our Badger Sports uh, sleeveless tee and I got my transfer from Chris. Now this one's really cool, really colorful. And this design did come from the HPN design store because I recognize it. Now, of course, I should say this part of the design, this text we added, which is cool. That's one of the cool things about getting cool artwork is you can customize it and make it unique for your designs. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put that where I like it. This is what I love about sublimation is the only part of this process that we didn't show you today is the print. Um, we didn't show you the print, but the print pretty quick and easy. And then you put your transfer on the shirt, you press it, and in 60 seconds, I'm gonna have a beautiful customized uh, sleeveless tee. All righty, Chris, we got any questions here while we're nice. pressing? Nice. Which HT, so this question comes from Designs by Kayla. Nice. She asks, which HPN Tumblr press do you recommend for beginners? For beginners, that's a great question. So I really do like the HPN Craft Pro Mug and Tumblr Press. Um, that one's gonna come with, as the name implies, <laughs> a mug and a tumbler attachment for the heat press. Now, if you think you're only gonna be doing mugs and tumblers, get the Craft Pro. We do right here, actually, Chris, can you show them? We have, uh, today in a little bit, Chris is gonna be demoing the Signature Series Mug and Tumbler Press with the tumbler attachment installed. Now, this is great if you think you're gonna be doing more than just mugs and tumblers, because the Signature Series has additional attachments available. It's gonna allow you to do shot glasses, tapered mugs, and a lot more. All right, so time is up. Gonna remove Gonna open this up, and again, I don't wanna let this sit too long, and when I remove it, I'm just gonna pick it up and away. Dude, look at that Whoa. color. That looks fantastic. Press for power. Weight training club. Dude, 
Look at that. Ah, that's hot. Okay, Chris, you hold Thank that. Thank you. Oh, you can bring your fingers on there. Woo. That is hot. It is very hot. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. It's like when you take a shirt out the dryer. Yeah. <laughs> you look like you're, like, like you're doing a pizza dough right now. Like, you're kinda, trying uh, to... like Papa John's? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Pull it down a little bit. Here we go. That looks fantastic, dude. Wow, the colors are very vivid and very bold, actually. Yeah. It's not what I was expecting, but it looks very, really good. Turned out better dude, than I expected. And it's actually. soft as heck, too. It is super soft. I absolutely love that. It feels even softer than like the parts that aren't. <laughs> yeah. So dude, good, huh? If you if you were to close your <laughs> eyes and like rub your hand across your, you can't tell where the ink starts, huh? Can't tell. Mm. You can't tell where the design is. It all feels just one, just one piece. Yeah. You know? That so, is yeah. super super sick. rad. Oop. Oop. Oof. Oof. It's so <laughs> soft. It just slips right through the butter. That's what I'm saying. It literally. Is. <laughs> all right. Yeah, and then again, the cool part about being able to submit onto these tees is they're so, so comfy. Like, dude, they're amazing. Um, yeah, have we got any questions on that? By the way, while Chris is looking up our questions, I do want to remind you, we have a giveaway at the end of this episode, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Today, we're going to be giving away a $50 Heat Press Nation gift card. In addition to that, uh, if you look right here over my shoulder, you're going to see this flash discount code. Now, this code is going to get you 10% off your sublimation blanks and supplies. It's a flash code. So it's gone in a flash. Basically, once we're done with this episode, this code is going to go by and uh, you're not going to have a chance to use it anymore. Don't worry, next week we're going to have a new flash code, a new giveaway. We do this every week. So these codes, these codes, kind of our way of saying thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Uh, yeah. We just like to have a good time. I like to give stuff away. All right. So this question comes from Roxanne. She's wondering why her colors don't come out as vibrant and as bold as ours do. Mm. Um, there was a second part to it. She has the SG500, and we use the same printer for this. Yes. So it should just be what type yeah, of Yeah, so there's a few things that you could do. Um, the first is you're going to want to check your original image. Sometimes we think we have a nice image and it's not that nice. Um, so just double check the original image. Make sure it's a high quality graphic. Um, you could also, if you have Photoshop or even I feel like in your phone these days, you can edit photos to a high resolution and, and increase the saturation a little bit. Increasing the saturation on your source image um, is the first thing you can do. The second thing you can do in Sawgrass Print Manager, by the way, if you're not using Print Manager, um, but in Sawgrass Print Manager, you can go to your color mode and you can change the color mode. The default is going to be photographic. You can actually change that to vivid. I love doing that. I always print in vivid. I think you all, we always print in vivid for our samples, right? Yeah, I always print in vivid. Yeah, oh, we, yeah, we print in vivid because it just, it's just everything a nice boost. So if you're not comfortable adjusting your own saturation levels, just go into Sawgrass Print Manager in the color mode or color tab, adjust the color mode to vivid. So it's going to say photographic. Just click that drop down menu, change it to vivid, fire off another print, and then heat press it. Another thing you could do, I have a couple of tips. There, there's a lot that you could do to increase the quality of your prints. Another thing you can do is change your paper if you're using. Now, I love text print, uh, uh, what is it called? DT Heavy. I really do. But I have noticed that using text print DT Light. Gives me just a little bit extra boost. I feel like it releases a little bit more of the ink into my substrate. So if you're using text print DT heavy, maybe try out, try these other things first. You don't have to buy anything just yet. Um, but if you still want a little bit, it's, a little, it's minimal, but a little bit of boost, DT light. The last thing, which maybe should have been the first thing, is you're gonna wanna double check your settings. Um, if it's a thicker garment, you could probably increase your time or temperature a little bit. Today, we're using 385 degrees for 60 seconds. Now, you might find that you need 75 seconds for your transfers. You might need to boost your temperature up to 400 degrees. I'm not 100% sure. It is going to vary. There are a lot of things that could influence what your time and temperature settings could be. Now, if, you, if you're below 385 degrees and or 60 seconds, you might want to bump that up a little bit. I would say you should be trying, uh, testing it out at least 385, 60 seconds. 
And yeah, those are my tips. That's how you can get the best uh, possible quality uh, transfers on your sublimation, uh, whether it's any, pretty much any fabric, t-shirts, socks, whatever you're doing. So basically more time, more temperature. Yeah, more time, more temperature. Different settings, print settings. There's so much that there's so many places along the road mm -hmm. that you could make adjustments. Yeah. So maybe it's changing the print mode. Maybe it's trying all of that. You know, mm -hmm. there's lots of things you could do. Okay. So just keep adjusting each variable separately until you figure out what was wrong. Exactly. Right. And if you forgot everything that I just said, uh, this video is available for replay afterwards. So you can always just come back, revisit this video, and uh, take notes. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool. Any other questions? That was, good. that was a really good question, by the way. Let's see. How many times can you wash it before it starts to fade, or does it fade Oh, that is a great question. Can you throw me one of the shirts? Of course. Here's the tank Yes. Top. So here's the cool... Man, I, I almost want to put this on, but there's no way. This wouldn't fit me even when I was like nine years old. Um, so here's the really cool thing about sublimation. This ink right here, the way sublimation works is that the ink turns into a gas dye when it's heated up, and the pressure from the press forces that into the garment. So this ink right here, this isn't sitting on the surface of the t-shirt like it would be with like screen printing or even with like vinyl or DTG. All of that, the ink is sitting on the surface. Sublimation, you're actually dyeing the material. So this graphic, look, you could stretch it, you could do whatever you want to it. It's not going anywhere because it's in the garment. Um, so this image is gonna last as long as your garment does. Now, over time, as you wash and wash and wash your garment, believe it or not, like the top layer of your garment actually gets worn and abraded away. So it could look like the image is starting to fade, but really, you're just slowly sanding off the surface uh, of your of your garment, of the garment itself. So, your image will last as long as your garment does. It's not gonna wash out or fade away. The only thing that could possibly cause it to wash out is if you're using like boiling water <laughs> with every wash cycle, because the ink is heat sensitive. If it gets heated to a certain point, uh, you could reactivate the ink. That's the only thing that could cause it uh, to like fade prematurely. So as long as you're not like superheating this ink, there you go, Christopher. Thank you. As long as you're not superheating the ink, that graphic is gonna be bold and vibrant for a very, 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 very long time. It's gonna outlast your screen print. It's gonna outlast your vinyl. It'll outlast literally any other transfer. There you go. Beautiful. Okay. Good questions today. I like them. Really good questions. I love them. Sandy Beechcraft asks, uh, or says she noticed that you didn't take the images down to the fabric. Do you not need to? Oh, that's, that's also a great question. So, if you're very careful, like your pal me over here, uh, like yours truly, if you're very careful, you don't need to. If you start finding that your images are ghosting, and in fact, want to ghost something right now? Let's do it. Let's ghost it. Okay, I'm, I also do want to buy you guys some time. Right now, we are running our flash discount. You're gonna get 10% off of all sublimation supplies and blanks when you use the code. When you use the code pressure, you see it right there. Use the code pressure right now at heatpressnation.com. This code is only valid while we are live. So as soon as this episode is over, that code is gonna be deactivated. So yeah, 10% off of sublimation blanks and supplies. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like when you don't take things down and you're not careful. There, oh, oh, whoops, careful. <laughs> Oops, these. All right, so here we go. So here's what I'm gonna do. Let's check out the heat press right here. Now this one, I'm gonna be a little bit more willy-nilly about my setup. I'm not gonna like pre-press or anything like that. I'm, I, I kind of just want to show you what happens when you don't tape it down. Okay. So like I said a little earlier, I don't tape it down because I'm careful. What do I mean by that? When it comes time to remove my transfer, I just pick it up in a way really fast. The reason why some people take down their transfers or use an adhesive spray is to keep the transfer from shifting. Now remember, sublimation ink turns into a gas dye when it's hot. So what, what I'm about to show you right now is when, the, when it's done pressing, if you were to shift it a little bit, it could re-imprint in this new area. So let's go ahead and actually, I'm gonna actually do that right now. I'm gonna ruin this shirt for the people because I love you guys and I wanna show you why we do some of the things that we do. 
So I'm going to follow standard procedures, right? I'm going to put it in. I have my time and temperature set. We're going to let it go. Um, but when it opens up, I'm going to intentionally shift the transfer and let it sit for a little while to show you what I mean by, I, I, I guess I should say, to show you what happens when you're not careful. So the original question was, how come I don't tape it down? I tape it down because I'm careful and I know I'm not going to shift it on the surface. If I was a little bit more careless, I might find it worth it to use a spray adhesive on the transfer to keep it in place to make sure that nothing happens, that it doesn't shift when the press is complete. If you're using an auto open heat press and you're going to let it auto open on its own, you may want to use like an adhesive or something to keep the transfer in place. Um, that's why I, you'll, you'll notice when I'm doing this, if I have an auto open press, I'll help it open. Again, I'm being careful. I don't want my transfer to shift. So I'm going to let this pop open, which I just saw it moved it a little bit. I'm going to move it a little bit more and then I'm going to let it sit there for a second. So there's two big mistakes that I made. If you saw it on camera, you saw that the, when, the, when it auto opened, my transfer shifted just a little bit. I did it a little bit more for dramatic effect. And now I'm actually letting the transfer sit, which is uh, two big mistakes. And I'll tell you why. So because the ink is a gas dye, when it's really hot, it's still active. So that ink is actually re-imprinting in a new location. That's why we have ghosting. So to stop it from shifting, use the adhesive. Uh, and let's see now. Let's see. Oh, you know what? It came out okay. It actually came out okay. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Well, I mean, I've definitely ghosted something before. Uh, I think the heel. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a, a good bad example. <laughs> that one didn't ghost, um, not. But I'm not saying that it's never gonna ghost. What happens is if you're not careful. I, I really wanted that one to fail, but oh yeah, this one was actually. It actually came out good. Oh yeah. well. <laughs> what happens is sometimes if it shifts, you're gonna get a reimprint. You're gonna get ghosting. All of that to say, uh, if you tape it in place or if you adhesive spray it in place, it really helps to ensure that you don't have any ghosting. Or like you saw me earlier, if you're really careful, you can eliminate the need to tape. But I say, do whatever works for you. That's a really long answer for a really simple question. <laughs> Maybe I'm just buying time so you guys could use this flash discount code. Once again, 10% off of all sublimation blanks and supplies when you use the code PRESSURE while we are live for about another maybe 10, 15 minutes because we have a giveaway and we have, oh, we have one more project. Oh, with the water bottles, yeah. Yes. But Creative Expressions makes a great point. Um, they say that ghosting only happens when you don't want it to. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> right? that is so true. Yes, that is 100% fact. Mm -hmm. Only when I don't want it to. Exactly. Of course, while I'm live and trying to share information, it would not do the thing. That's funny. All right. Chris, are you ready to, to show them how it's done? Oh, I'm ready. I'm going to get it started. There we go, baby. All I'm going to do is cut out this small design right over here. And turn off our heat. Kind of like a center logo for the tumbler. Okay. And then could you pass me the tape, please? Do I have the tape? Do you have tape? Oh, yes. If I you do have it. the tape. All right. Just like that. There you go. Oh, I totally just... There we go. Let's stay. One side right here, and then I'm going to roll it along the edge. Get rid of all the air bubbles. Actually, I got to bring it lower just because it curves and I want it to transfer evenly. Pretty easy though, right? Good. Like I feel like... Super easy. So there are a lot of other transfers that require a lot more work than sublimation. So it's mm -hmm. actually really cool. All okay. right, let's see. Let's see. Just like that. And then I actually need to turn this on and let it heat up. Mm -hmm. Oh, and then we already adjusted the pressure, right? Yeah, we adjusted okay, the pressure. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Everything should be set. But this one heats up pretty fast, right? Yeah, it'll be it'll be ready in about two minutes or so, or okay. less. So I guess now's a good time. Any, any other questions? Any other questions? Let's see. Going along with the fading question, what about sublimating on heat transfer vinyl? How long will the sublimated image remain on the vinyl after washing multiple times? Great question. So there's only a small handful of vinyls that you could sublimate onto. So 
white glitter vinyl from Caesar. I believe most white glitter vinyl you could sublimate onto it. Um, there is a clear vinyl. It's like a frosty vinyl from Specialty Materials that you could sublimate onto, and it's pretty permanent. It's going to last as long as the vinyl does. Now, regular vinyl, so just standard like Easy Weed or Thermal Flex Plus or something like that, you can't sublimate onto that. Again, there's only a small handful of vinyls that you can actually sublimate onto where it's going to be permanent. So the two that I'm aware of off the top of my head, again, Caesar Glitter in White, uh, Specialty Materials, Frosty Clear, and I want to say that's it. Now, if you do want to use your sublimation printer with vinyl, then I would recommend using something like Caesar Easy Subly, where you could print directly onto the vinyl, contour cut it in your cutter, and then apply it onto your garment. I think that's probably the better option. Uh, and that lasts pretty, pretty long. We also have a, uh, a product called Forever Subliflex 202. Works very similarly. And really quick, while we're waiting for the press to heat up, I do want to talk a little bit about just some tips to help you dominate in the fitness industry. So real quick, let's just talk about it. Now we're always talking about, oh, it's a big pie and all you need is a little slice. Well, we really mean it. The market size, oh, there we go, we're almost, there right, we go. The market size is gonna be $30.8 billion for 2023. That's the estimated uh, you know, amount of money that's being spent in the fitness industry. The average spend per consumer is gonna spend about $124.40 on fitness. Now that's gonna include, I don't know, what are you, what are you spending monthly on? Because again, it's been a little while since my gym rat days, obviously, right? But like, you know, you're, what are you, you buying? Cause you're buying like protein. Oh yeah, um, whey protein. I need, uh, I, I drink Celsius. Do you do creatine? I used to. Used to? But yeah, all those supplements and everything, it starts to add up. On top of the gym membership, on top of like- And then you always, I feel clothes. like I'm always like needing a new pair of like shorts or something like that, mm -hmm. like tees. Like yeah, you, just, exactly. you just gotta keep the fit nice. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't wanna be Especially caught. if I'm going every day, I don't wanna wear the old ones. Yeah. yeah. You don't wanna be caught like lacking though. Yeah. Like at the gym. Never. Year. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, so people are willing to spend their money for fit, for, on fitness and fitness related items. Um, 76% of memberships with, uh, or I should say 76% of the spend is typically on memberships with a tire being number two at 32%. So the average consumer spending 32% of the money they allocate for their fitness, for that lifestyle, they're spending it on clothes. I'm telling you, gym fits are real. They are, they're, they're for super sure real. real it's like, yeah. if you see a cool, like even a gym t-shirt, like if you see someone in a cool workout shirt, it's like, Oh, that dude, that dude's cool. <laughs> exactly, they got yeah. a nice pump cover on, you know, you're like, I wanna be him, I want that shirt. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the fitness industry is a great niche for making money. Um, so these are just examples of some items that have really good margins. Uh, you have your workout shirts and shorts. Uh, you have hair, like hats, beanies. Uh, you have water bottles. Gym towels, like we showed you today, duffel bags and drawstring bags. Again, we're kind of, that's kind of getting to the, hey, if you could fit it on your heat press, you can press it. And with items like pressing pillows, um, or if you have a smaller, like a label press, you can customize pretty much anything. And then you have lanyards and keychains. You guys, there are so many things that you can offer just in this, just in the fitness niche. Um, so I really hope you guys kind of explore this and make some money. Um, but yeah, for our last demo today, Christopher, why don't you uh, why don't you take us home with this demo? Let's do it. All I'm gonna do is just slide it in. Pressure is already set. I'm gonna place the design face down so it gets right in the middle of the heating element, and just like that, 80 seconds, and Ooh. we should be good to go. What's your what's your uh, temperature? My temperature is at 365. Nice. For 80 okay. seconds. 365. Okay. Cool. Cool. Mm -hmm. Could I actually get some gloves? Oh so. yeah, Dude, that sucker's gonna be hot. You Thank know what, you so I much. always forget that because I'm used to pressing mugs, so I have a handle. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I forget about stuff like this. Tumblers. Don't burn your, don't be like me, don't burn yourself. <laughs> you always do that one like test with your yeah. <laughs> finger, see if it's hot enough. All right, so in 50 seconds, let's see if we have any questions. I've been wanting to get into fitness merch. I was talking to my friend the other day. Yeah, yeah. we need to get it started. For yeah. sure, do that. You could mm -hmm. go to, so there are lots of wholesaler sites that are gonna sell you fitness blanks. Now I should, 
not all, like I said earlier, not all fitness blanks are gonna be suitable for sublimation. So if you are doing sublimation, or honestly, no matter what kind of uh, garment decoration you're gonna be doing, make sure you test different blanks to make sure that you enjoy the look and feel of the finished product. Um, if you have a, if you have like your resale certificate, open a wholesale account. You can go to lots of sites. I personally like to use like SS Activewear. Um, you can use like Sanmar, there's a bunch. If you don't have a wholesale license just yet, oh, it's ready. Go okay. to Jiffy Shirts. All right, back to Chris. All right. I'm gonna take it out right here. And on top of the clothing brand, you don't have to just start a fitness clothing brand. You can also do like merch for a little league team, your kids' club team, right? Provide oh, jerseys for, for the real? whole team. I love that. Anything like that. Idea. Yeah. And if you're not ready to do merch, just customize water bottles for all the gym wrap. Like that. Oh, dude, that came out super clean. Oof. A little bit stuck. There we go, there we go. I hope it doesn't ghost. Ooh. Here, I have my fingernails. All right. Oh, there you go, you got there it. There we go. Graze it a little bit, that's fine. There we are. There we go, dude. That looks super duper clean. And then this, see now, unlike putting stickers on your hydro flask or whatever, those stickers eventually scratch off, they wash off, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's the most permanent thing you could possibly This is going to stay in, in the dishwasher. Dude, you could throw it in your trunk. You could toss it out of a window. like <laughs> five-story building. Yeah, that's like that graphic is not going anywhere. Mm -hmm. Dude, that's super dope. If it wasn't so hot, I'd ask you to throw it to me, but I'm not trying to burn my fingers. It's cool, though, so. huh? I, wait, how hot is it? Super dope. It's pretty, it's really it's hot. It's pretty hot. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. I'm not trying to tempt fate today. <laughs> <laughs> right. So there you go. So today, these are just a few examples of the different things that you can make to tackle a totally new niche market. Maybe you're doing like the dog mom stuff and you're like, hey, dog moms are cool, but I want to sell to more people. Hey, try a new niche. Try the fitness market. Try the mm -hmm. dog fitness market. Like, I don't know if that's even a real thing. But uh, really what we want to do is hopefully inspire you today to try something new today. We did the sleeveless workout shirts. We did the, the regular short sleeve workout shirts. Uh, we did the water bottle. And I guarantee you there's a ton more things out there that you can customize. So feel free to share it in the comments. Feel free to tag us in your creations online. All that stuff. We'd love to see it. All right. Now it's time to give some stuff away. You ready to give some stuff away? I think it's giveaway time. It's Let's do giveaway it. giveaway time, baby. All right. Who's ready? So here's how it's going to work. In a few seconds, you're going to see a hashtag come on the screen. All you have to do to enter the giveaway is put that hashtag in a comment and comment it. Now, you're able to do one entry on Facebook Live and one entry on YouTube Live. But what you can't do is multiple entries per stream. So don't waste your time spamming like 50 comments uh, you, it, the, the computer's only going to read one per stream. So again, comment once on Instagram, comment once on Facebook for the best odds, and may the odds be ever in your favor. Alrighty, so it's going to come on the screen any second now, and oh, there it is. Okay, hashtag heat, that is H-E-A-T. So go ahead, go ham, we're going to give you guys about a minute to go ahead and just comment. Hashtag H-E-A-T. Comment that on Instagram Live, or sorry, not Instagram Live, Comment that on Facebook Live. Comment that on YouTube Live. And in about 51 seconds, we're going to uh, select a winner at random. I feel like we should have like game show music right now. Oh, we should. Honestly, why don't we do that? We, yeah. You know, no, we're, we're going to look into getting some bite. game show yeah. music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool, cool. Or maybe I, had, I had another question, actually, Jared. Yeah, yeah, go for it. So I get this a lot, um, and it seems like the people in the chat are also facing this problem as well. But when you're doing a tumbler and you're doing the full wrap around, mm -hmm. I tend to get a tape mark. Oh, let me see. Is, yeah. is there a tape mark on this? There's one? no tape mark on this one. Oh, okay. But like I've seen it happen before, and I just don't know why that happens. Good question. So tape marks are going to be from too much pressure. The great thing about sublimation is you don't need heavy pressure at all. Um, I can't think of a single project that requires heavy pressure for sublimation. For sublimation, you really just need just enough to press the image into the into the blank item, into the substrate, and that's it. So if you're starting to see tape marks, um, sometimes what happens with heavy pressure is the paper is gonna like stick to the transfer, and you have to like you have to like like you know peel it off. You shouldn't really be doing that. You should have a pretty smooth release. Um, of course, depending on your ink and paper. 
If you're using sawgrass, if you're using equipment like how we're using here, equipment from Heat Press Nation, you should have a pretty clean peel. Um, so yeah, I would say um, if you're getting tape marks, probably just have a little too much pressure. You saw it today with the uh, with the pillow. We a little bit more than a kiss, but you know, just not heavy at all. So uh, yeah, but that's what you can do right there. Is it cooled down yet? I really want to see it. Um, you think so? Here, throw it, throw it over. You know, we're, we're about to oh, find out good, the hard good, way. Good. Here. Ah, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> actually cooled down pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. This looks great. This this is really, really cool. Honestly, like, this, you could, because I know a lot of gyms have their own merch stuff, merch, mm -hmm. merch shops, yeah. like near the entrance or mm -hmm. exit or whatever. Um, I could easily see this. Going for like 25 bucks. Yeah, if you went to like a private gym and then like yeah. you just pitch them like, look, I can create all these products for you. Boom, Dude, business deal. If they're reselling this for 25, you're probably selling it to them for half, about 12.50. And these, I want to say, let's see. Um, so for, uh, for four pieces, uh, maybe not. Okay, maybe you don't want to sell them for 12.50. If you're buying it at the 200 at the 209.95 price, maybe you're selling it to them for like 15 bucks or something. Man, my head math is really off. Probably don't want to do that at the four piece price, but if you're selling them in bulk at the 24 piece price, yeah, you could price a little bit better. But yeah, they're selling this for at least 25. You could probably sell it to them I'd say like 15, 18. I've bought one for at, I think at least 30 bucks before. 30 bucks, really? Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't was made, yeah. haven't been inside of a gym in a long time. So. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you, you definitely want to make it worth it for them, worth it for you. And if someone's placing a big order, I love big orders. I'm willing to give a little discount if they're going to buy a lot of this stuff. So yeah, anyways, there we go. All right, I think that's going to do it for, oh, what am I saying? The giveaway, duh. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's go back. Are we, we're, we've been ready. There we go. Evelyn, hey, Primus, Primus. Sorry if I didn't say that right. From Facebook. There we go, from Facebook. Evelyn, hey, Primus, Primus, uh, you are our winner. So do me a favor, uh, send an email over to us, uh, winner at heatpressnation.com. We got your name, now we just need your email address so we can send you your $50 HPN digital gift card. Thank you so much for being a part of our giveaway today. For everybody else who didn't win, you guys know, you're not losers, you're just future winners. And if you wanna win in the future, we'll see you here next week. Now, before we let you go, Chris has some closing words for us and some just info, right? What do you got for us, Christopher? Just get a little bit of information, right? Just to let you guys know, we do have a giveaway going on our Instagram right now. If you do oh, want a chance to win this HPN Signature Series mug and tumbler press, nice. all you gotta do is follow us on Instagram, like all of our posts, and then, yeah, you know the drill. Like and subscribe yeah. to all of our socials. Yes. All right. We also have the HPN Design Store. I'm not sure if this design that we specifically use today is on it, but I do know that the these, other one is. these are right over here. Where HPN Design Store. Just open, grand opening. Customize it, Super sell cool. it, do all that. Good stuff for it. And then I want you to text HEAT to 31592. This is going to nice. send you text notifications to our lives, to special giveaways, deals. All of that stay in tune with Heat Press Nation. All right. Lastly, we have a live and giveaway every single Tuesday at 1 p.m. So if you guys like today's episode, woo, come back again <laughs> next week. And then we're going to do the same thing, give away more stuff. Yeah. Right? And then, sh of course, show off some more stuff too. Show off some more demos as teach well. Teach some new stuff. Mm -hmm. I love it. I exactly, love it. Exactly. Exactly. Yep. And that's pretty much everything from me. My name's Chris. And this is Jared. And thank you guys for tuning in. Adios, everybody. See, See you next Tuesday.